Cody moves on to winners finals. <laughs> right we, so. we got J Mook versus Moki then. Yep. On the other side Ooh. of winners, we got J Mook versus Moki. J Mook against Moki. And uh, as we see Aklo packing up his stuff, we see Cody approaching the venue, approaching the theater. I'm not sure if he's going to make it in. So nice. he's, he's still it. trying to get into the like the, the right mindset, right? Yeah. That is, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Before you get where you need to play, make sure you're already. Yeah, you're ready for it. You're ready for yeah. it. That's nice. So who do you guys have taken this one? Because this one's a bit harder to call, I this think. This is a very it's hard one to call. I haven't seen, uh, I haven't commentated a Moki set at all this tournament. Me neither. And I haven't com and I've commented well, a I lot. Have. And he taunted. <laughs> oh, oh really? And it wasn't close. Damn. It was awful. It was almost disrespectful. I say that's deserved, honestly. <laughs> if it's not close, it's, it's either like you're, you're coming back and you're winning a game, then you taunt, or you're just like destroying the other person you taunt. Those are the acceptable mm. moments to taunt, right? I don't think Moki cares about that. I don't think anyone should care about my opinion on taunting. True, to be completely <laughs> true. That's true. I think it's <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, but I think uh, I th I think Moki's gonna take it. I believe in Moki. I th I thought so too, honestly. I mean, it's it's not it's not so clear cut though as the last one. For me, yep. it's like last one. I would say yeah, nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten, I would say Cody takes that. Yeah. This yeah. one, I'm thinking way more of a coin flip, honestly. I, yeah. I, I do agree. It really depends how J Mook and Moki are feeling. Um, if you say that Moki has been playing really well, then I can see like a really close game between this is like a really close set. Uh, I would give it to uh, I would give it to J Mook in general though. Okay, wait. Okay. I'm actually looking at what J Mook is doing. He's aligning the chair perfectly in oh, front of the TV. Oh, a bit of Tokido action, you know. That's actually he's like he's he's, he's measuring the feng shui in the. He's venue. getting out the the level ruler. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. A little bubble. Is he's checking level? the bubble. Yeah, is it level? This it is what he meant by bubble theory. Ah, oh, oh, right, okay. right, 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 yeah, man. Yeah, no. so Crunch smart. and, and Hungry Bucks were so ahead of their time. <laughs> he's also putting the jacket like perfectly aligned yeah. with the chair, you know. So that it doesn't. That's that's like a whole ritual. I like it. Yeah, it really reminds me of the Tokido. Like, you ever seen this picture where he's uh, measuring the distance between the monitor and his eyes so that he has the, the same distance every time he plays between that's, the monitor and himself? That's, that's next absurd. level. That's it actually is. next yeah. level. Who does that? So, Tokido from Street Fighter, the Street Fighter player. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. Wow. I don't watch Street Fighter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you said it like, I don't watch this. I don't watch that. You think I, I watch Street Fighter? What the <laughs> Obviously not. There's no, there's no platform. Like, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. There's no blast zone. There is no blast zone. Actually, trying to knock him out of the blast zone, but he doesn't die. Um, stages with walls are banned. Actually, <laughs> so I don't know what the hell's going on over here. They just have walk-offs in this game. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I think. I think it, it's going. The, the percentages. It's going down. It's going <laughs> to be going up. Yeah. Why is the health bar going down? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. No, I think also in the spirit of like rituals and stuff, I think that helps you get into the right mindset for True. playing like a competitive mm. match. I think there's a lot yeah. of like psychology behind. Especially in like actual sports, yeah. if you have a moment to sort of like do something to get yourself into the right mindset, to sort of snap in, lock in, as the kids are saying these days. Lock it in. Lock it uh, in. You know that'll help you out. So if you can find your little ritual, whatever helps you, then uh, by all means, just try to let it, you know, let it rip at For any sure, tournament sure. you go to. For sure. It's interesting. And Jay Luke is definitely one of those people who just has the rituals down. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it, it's interesting because Jay Mook, we know him as like uh, this person who like he's done interviews about it where he's so like stoic when he plays he looks like he has like no emotion but right. when i was uh, commentating him uh like playing he was very like, um, like yes he was doing a lot of like moving with his yes. head and whatever which is like he said in interviews before that he tries to stay as stoic as possible so yeah. that he doesn't get out of the zone and he also doesn't use uh the energy that he has for right. like non-essential things which is like a very like i don't know like Next Mentalism level. approach to like yeah. life, which is interesting. But I actually noticed too that he was pr pretty emotive yeah. today yeah. while playing, which was like un uncharacteristic. So I wonder if it's going to affect his gameplay. Yeah, maybe. I, yeah. Oh, maybe he's trying something different. Maybe he's like, True. oh, maybe I should get out the emotions. Maybe I should let them. Let yeah, them let, rock. let it rip. Yeah, you know? let it rip. it's nice to feel it in in your yeah. body as well. Like, I do. Oh, yeah, agree. I'm, I'm getting well, these it, hits. That, I was going to say counterpoint to that. Like, if you're feeling sort of anxious or you're feeling like very pent up about yeah. what's happening even in a good way like you're, you have a really strong lead and you're getting kind of excited like it can be helpful to sort of vent those emotions yeah. by emoting in some way because then you're putting it in a place that's not melee <laughs> which True. is where it can all go wrong if you start to sort of like put into your gameplay your yeah. tilting you know your annoyance your stresses things like that yeah internalizing is not a good idea yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. You have to have like a healthy mindset to be able to stay stoic and not process those emotions yeah. in that way, right? 
You have to yeah. really understand yourself. Because if you keep doing it, but you're also like mad, like you, you're basically just lying to yourself in a way. Yeah, exactly. All right, All right. Like and I think we're ready. getting a thumbs up. Yeah. Right. JMOOC already up a, a game. Playing Fox <laughs> 2. That's Yo. pretty crazy. Okay. Crazy thing. <laughs> All right. Getting the fist bump. All right. And so the icons are still wrong, it. but they'll fix it up. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about it. You're starting up on Dreamland. I think that's a very logical pick. We got a really wholesome uh, chant in the crowd that they said uh, made the best win. Which ah, is the best just, win. That's, That's a right. nice sentiment, you know? Yeah. I was talking to Moki, and I asked him earlier, like, how mad would you be if, like, you won a set and then people would start chanting USA? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you know what? That would actually be kind of funny. So I hopefully, mean, hopefully it it'll happen. Funny. That is very funny. Dumb Europeans, am I right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't know anything about We don't even know that. which country is which. Canada's my favorite state. Yeah, I'll yeah. say that much. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, girls are my favorite guys. True. True. <laughs> Oh. oh, tricky. I mean, Wispy kind of helped out there, I think, yeah. right? Or was it, was it just entirely drift? I think it was Wispy as well. Yeah. yeah. I think but uh, so far, Moki part. in control, taking center stage, not letting Jmook into the into the center stage as well. Staying really oh. tricky on that platform, but Jmook gets one opening, gets quite a bit of damage off of it. Moki's got to be watching wow. out because uh, if he doesn't close this one out, Jmook might just find a tech chase and a kill here before Moki can get it done. Yeah. Nice. Great roll up. That's just the rinse repeat. Moki playing just extremely clean. I mean, uh, yeah. he's been he's getting a little bit of pressure on Jmook, but uh, nothing nothing out of the ordinary for him. Oh, oh my god. Okay, big, big, yep. big hits. And, and shields the lasers. Very big, very big. Still gets the full stack of needles as well. Oh. Yeah, I th you okay. can already see this is going to be such a competitive Yeah, this set. is going to be a good one. Look at them dancing around each other. Oh, back throw? No, no, no. Moki, yep. I mean, uh, Jmook does Okay, never mind. I took it. I take it all back. It was like <laughs> oh one overcommit from Moki there into a grab, and uh, yeah, Jmook not opting for the tech chase for whatever reason. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to go for it, but then he did decide to go for a back throw anyway. And I don't think that was the right call, really. Ooh. Look. Moki getting stuck in shine twice, which is quite uncharacteristic. It was a nice wait there from Jmook to try and bait something out, but yeah, a little bit too late. Even though he did end up baiting out a spot dodge, he just couldn't get anything before it. Right. Moki uh, definitely playing really well with the the crouch cancel here, no matter if it's on the platform or on the ground. Oh, oh it's, wow, that, that was, was Wispy again. That was Wispy, yeah. yeah. A lot of interference this game. <laughs> yeah, Wispy, you know, he needs a little bit of attention sometimes. Yeah. Nice. Moki staying patient again. Like whenever J moves at the ledge, Moki is just not biting, just sort of dash dancing around using those oh, platforms nice. and catching the OMS attack there. Crucial. I mean, at that level, everybody is so ready for the OMS yeah. attack. It wasn't even like a reaction to the OMS attack. It was no. just an immediate force. He knew smash. it was going like, to happen, yeah. and then it's either like, does he OMS attack again? Do I have to do it again? Or like over and over, basically. Yeah. Once again, it was action reaction from J Mook, immediately evening it yep, back out true. with a very cool uh, alley oop to himself. <laughs> Alley oop to himself. <laughs> it's, just, yeah, it's just a shot, Damn, I guess. Damn, he really is the that goat. Is. <laughs> That's just a three pointer. Oh. Wow, what a oh, great needle. What a needle. The Another on one. Needles. And the soft back air, no wow. chance to tech off the wall. Really smart option to That was so there. incredibly clean. Jamu quite stoic, but we did see like a little bit of breathing just after that, just like, okay. Is he a... chewing gum? Yes, that's actually, oh. that takes a lot of energy, I'd say. But hey, never mind. He's winning, so. He's yeah. up there winning. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Either he's chewing gum or chewing his tongue, which uh, I think, you know, should be a little careful about oh. that one. Oh, another my another God. one. Yeah, but that time it was too far away for yeah. Moki to get anything off of it. Yeah, and Fort Smash is pretty laggy, so. Okay. Yeah. No jump on Jamie. Should be able to get this. Nice. And goes for the shine. I mean, we're always going to see that whenever he has the chance, right? Yeah. Might as well just take a little bit more. Oh, no jump. Big up what there. a shark. Does get his jump back. Bounce yeah. on that platform. Wow, Now Moki going. has gotten so much damage off this combo. Oh, and the oh Tomahawk my grab. God. That was such an amazing Tomahawk. Nobody it was, was expecting that one. No. Yeah, Tomahawks are usually like little short hops, whatever. Moki just moon shoes is over j yeah. and gets a the Tomahawk. Everyone uh -oh. shields there. This is huge. This is the tech chase we want to yeah. see. Okay, and this is what we need. Like, Moki needs, I mean, j Book needs to dial in for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was what? a crucial moment, but does find that Nair dash oh, attack and reverse wow. bear. He's going to close out that first game. Very clean, very yeah, that clean. That forward tilt was just a tiny bit early, but uh, in the end, didn't didn't even matter. We Jamie. get up, get the legs moving, yeah, grab a, a bit sip, of water. Sit back down. you got to make sure the Adjust water the can flow down to your toes. Oh. That's true. It's got to pass through well, the whole they, body. They do call your calves your second heart because your calf like pump the blood back up to your heart. That's true. Heart. Really? That's only yeah. if you're walking, right? 
What? If you're walking. That is if you're walking. But you know, he does a little bit of a... That's true. He's keeping the, the blood steps. circulation going. Yeah. A few steps. A few steps. All right. I think this is a very logical counter pick from Moki. Yeah, a lot of people like to favor FD in this matchup. But again, against someone like Jmook, who is so good at tech chasing, you're sort yeah. of eliminating the possibility of getting away from him using those platforms. Nice. Yeah. I mean, tech chasing is going to work on this stage, of course, as well. But at least it's easier to not get grabbed if you have platforms available. Exactly. You're yeah. using them to trick him up as yeah. opposed to escape the tech oh, chase. Wow. Look at how clinical this is. What yeah. a... I love the, the wave dash back every time, setting himself up wow. perfectly. Soft one. Oh, and oh. Moki makes it back, though. Yeah, unfortunate oh, edge guard oh, from Jmu. Couldn't quite get it done, but great recovery. It doesn't matter. The, the tech chase goes on. Another one. Just absolutely amazing from Jmu. 142% now. Okay. And the reverse jab attempt. Not quite going to work out, wow. but does find that trade to get the stock. Although, that is kill percent, right? If I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, too. Wait, maybe not? Maybe barely not. Moki would know. Oh, what a tricky recovery from yeah. Jmu to get back there. Oh. What? What's going on? Moki taking a lot of space, or giving a lot of space. Mm, the dash attack was a little bit, a uh, little, little bit too much, I yeah. think, for uh, for Moki. And wow. now he's back in the vortex Jay again. Moki is dialed in. Look at this. Holy shit! Yeah, this tech chase is brutal. How is so he far. so good at it? He's, he's seen the matrix. Oh right? my god! And the down smash as well. Jay was surprised that. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like he down smashed and he was like, oh okay, sure. Why would he wow. even side B here? I don't know. It's but. also like momentum-wise, it's so difficult to get tech chase, right? Like you you can't really do anything. You're just sitting there waiting for the punish to end, and like you're not moving around. Like you get cold a little bit. Yeah, exactly. It's oh a, my it's god, the jaywalk! Reset. Yo, oh he's gonna god. get a ticket for it. Oh, wait a second. A little wave shine to grab here, and the combo continues with an up tilt, dashing around that shield. Oh, go for the tomahawk this time. Shield? Oh. Wow. I mean, Jmook is just on a oh my God. on a different planet right now. Look at this pressure from Jmook. Yeah. Moki doesn't know what to do. Goes to the ledge, still gets clipped. Oh my God! And the God. needles too. Jmook is one of the best players at getting into the zone. Yeah. I swear to God. Moki is not looking good at all. Yeah. Oh my oh, God! Wow. Smash the eye on that, that shine. Absurd. He, he was still followed so it up, ready. which is insane. Yeah, right. He was ready for it. He just <laughs> went for that backwards wave shine. He was so ready. It didn't matter in the end, but still, like, it's crazy that. That's the level we're at right now. Yeah. Yeah. 2023. Jeez. Only getting closer to 2024. But down but not out, right? This is still no. a oh really good God. stage for Fox. Oh. And if Moki can get two or three uh -oh. more hits in, he could kill. But again, another tech chase opportunity for Jmook. And this wow. is going to be big. And the oh perfect wave dashes God. as well. Oh, my God. How does he grab the tech in place like that? It's just How is he so good at it? Yeah, I was about to say, oh, Moki okay. might want to consider going for more like uh, no yeah. techs. No yeah. techs. Yeah, sort yeah, of like sure. mixing it up just a little bit further. He loves okay. doing those. Uh, yeah, for sure. Gets the oh. kill. Yeah, okay. Gets that still kill doable. Still extremely doable. Ninety-two percent. We've need seen a, need a good uh, like opening from like a drill, maybe. Yeah, I mean we've seen how Mango does it on the stage for club. Yeah, so. you just gotta wait for the windmill. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's there coming. Was, there was no windmill then. <laughs> no. Well, talking? the transformation sometimes. Oh, that's not. it. Oh, oh yeah, it goes out deep for that one. So there was hope at the end of that game. Like Moki was yeah. definitely picking it up. He just needs to lock into that early, get for the early sure. lead, and just tr try to play around that grab way yeah. more. Like, yeah. When you got that drill out of shield at the end, it could have been extremely yeah. scary for yeah. Jmook. It felt, for, to me, it felt like Moki was getting kind of frustrated during the end of that game. Yeah. Like, like not getting what he wanted. And I mean, uh, every time I've seen Moki recently, he does look like, I don't know, it looks rough for him. Like, he, he's playing well, yeah. but it, it feels like he's not happy with the right. way he's playing. Right, yeah. For the past few tournaments, it, it does seem that way. I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe it's a mentality thing. Uh, but I don't think he's playing badly right now. It's just Jmook is uh, he's not giving him incredible. anything. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And these punishes are just on another level. Right? Wow, great up tilt. It's also worth noting that as long as wow. Moki is keeping Jmook in the air, there's no potential for these tech chase situations. So the more combos he gets where he's just sort of juggling Sheik around, the better. Yeah. Not even for percent, but also just for positioning, right? Wow. Yeah. This is, it's so daunting to see this punish game from Jmook. Like, just these tech chases alone are like so scary. You just, it's like you're getting wobbled. Yeah, it is literally <laughs> oh, wobbling okay, at this point. Okay, he's going for some sauce now with the forward air. Oh my god. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. You can, you can slide off know. all you want. Whoa, he, messed, he managed to get away from those needles, but the, the punish is oh, oh, what was that? What the hell? Oh my god. That was crazy. As well. The he no epic lands? He went for the left side forward air, was like, oh, oh I missed. The moonwalk? <laughs> Oh no, the needles from across the stage! Okay, nice fastball for Moki to get out of there. Oh my god, I feel that like... That was that was not real. That was no, not, that didn't it, happen. That <laughs> did not Jay happen. Is Jmook going to win the tournament? 
<laughs> maybe, I mean, honestly. Maybe. Like, I mean, we're going to have an insane grand finals no matter what. Oh, J Mook, he's, he's just standing there. If he does this Menacing to Cody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, possible. I think Cody's starting to get stared. I know he's like, oh shit, I got to find Prof. I need, I need some. Yeah. I, I got to find, like, I don't know, Max. I got to find Aaron. Gotta no, find not Max. Quick. Max didn't even make top 48. <laughs> Stop ragging <laughs> on this kid. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Guy, it's just too easy. It's too easy. No, it's I'm thinking easy. he's got to find Pipsqueak, honestly. Yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's going deep. No, I don't know about wait. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, no. Not but the slide offs, like, they're good. This is mo J Mook knows what's gonna happen, so it doesn't yeah, okay. matter. It's in the anymore. same vein of those like arms to tech situations. It's yeah. like I know you're good enough to hit this slide off, so I'm ready for it. You yeah. Know? Like I have to. You gotta have four, and then it's the third layer where it's like, well, yeah. I'm not gonna slide off. Oh my god, he goes for the second four tailed. What a great DI mix up, a classic one too. But uh, yeah, this is not looking great. It's still doable, but oh, it's getting harder and harder. Twenty six percent already. A little more, and uh, the, the crouch cancels are going to start being a bit complicated for oh uh, Moki. Oh, oh great nice. nice nice pullback. But like he's going for like some very tricky mix, uh, DI mix-up, but I feel like it's cutting the combo short a, a lot of the time. And Jemuk's just not, he's just DIing extremely well, just not yeah. dying. And he needed that combo more than just to get the kill. Like as soon as he gave up that space, Jemuk oh. got another opportunity to win neutral and another yeah. opportunity to rack up like 100%. Oh, nice. and that's up smash. It's going to do it. Last Again, stock. very doable. Same situation as last time. Yeah, but Moki needs to not get hit by a stray hit. Oh, and there it is. And there it is. Yeah. Over oh, the reverse oh. fair. A second lease on life for Moki here. Okay. And that forward tilt fair is going to do it. it. Oh Jemuk my popping God, off as well. Yeah, I mean, he's playing so well. I think he's feeling himself. So oh, I, yeah. I believe like. That Ride that wave, man. Ride yeah, that wave. For sure. For sure. I mean, yeah, it was. It wasn't really a close set, but at the same time, like you deserve that win so hard. Like you oh, were yeah. so hot, so dialed in. Like the thing is, you know, as as rough as J Mook made it seem yeah. for Moki, like Moki was also playing pretty well. Like yeah. sure. putting together like pretty good combos and threatening yeah. like a lot of space. But J Mook was just doing it on point. Like every yeah, grab just seemed to amount to like the most it could at any yeah. given moment. Yeah, for right? sure. Yeah. It's like just you. You're on another level at that point. It's just yeah. like, it's incredible. So it's so crazy to see, really. Just like an incredible seeing it live is it makes it even more surreal. Like right. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like okay, well this is doable. Apparently, I don't yeah. know how, but uh, <laughs> yeah. apparently it is doable for this player. J Mook absolutely looking just so clean. Yeah, I have uh, dialed in. He's just dialed in. Yeah, again, he's like one of the best players to get into the zone. The problem with him, the only problem with him is that once he gets out of the zone, if he gets like yeah. something that's broken, it is really hard for him to get back into the game. We've seen it happen like. Even at Fed, it was a very unfortunate when his controller messed up, yeah. and he had to switch controller. He was just, he just, it was n yeah, not able to get back into it. Switching anymore. controller, like even if it's like the perfect, like a perfect replica of your it, it's not going to be the same. No, it's not the same. Even yeah. if it's the same controller, like nah. Yeah, it's 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 hard. 